Hello my lovely ones, how are you loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening. Aries, time for you loves, starting from your zodiac to the Pisces, three cards energy for July 27. Yes, look at this, Aries, here you are. Let's see. Two of Swords for your loves, Seven of Cups, and Hermit. My deal here with the Virgo, but I'm feeling here there's a decision here you need to make and feels quite strongly all over the place. What should they do? Where should they go? The thing is, you probably might need to advise yourself with someone or you might need to seek advice from someone because Hermit and Two of Swords doesn't really speak. As well, the Two of Swords is kind of like, I don't really see, but do I allow? So there is a thing here that either you, you need to be open for the things or the for the possibilities or to be clear what you are really looking at because i see here an air is kind of like i'm not gonna say anyone but i'm not sure how to do or it's like you feel very very much puzzled i'll take one day at a time uh, one day at a time with the hermit very much speaks that you will find a way. You will find the star. You will find the light in the things. But probably not right away. Might take some time. Okay, loves. Whatever situation you are in, Aries, there will be the light at the end of the tunnel. There will be something coming into you. But in the meantime, I feel here you need to see certain things from a different perspective. The hangman very much speaks that, yes, for some of you, you might feel stuck. But if you see this period of time differently from your introspection, from looking deeper on certain things, you'll find very useful time. Okay? So sometimes we want to rush certain things in our lives, but sometimes actually... We need to let it go slow. And moving towards our Taurus. Welcome, loves. Welcome. Let's see, Taurus. What do we got for you? The first card here. We have Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, and Ten of Cups. Why you, Taurus? so much into your head i don't see myself in this maybe i see myself will i be happy it's kind of you give yourself so many questions for what as well in in the same tying i feel here there's a Taurus who needs to think out of the box who needs to think that they deserve everything that is good out there because yes, Eight of Swords speaks that, oh, I'm not really great enough or I'm not good enough for having this or that. Four of Swords gives you that opportunity to look at yourself, look in the mirror and see the other beauty that looks at you. Because if there is someone out there and want a connection with you, could it be even your twin? You deserve to have happiness. Don't even tell yourself. It's kind of you telling yourself, no, 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 I'm not with this. Or if I take my time, I will see. Yes, indeed. Give yourself time. Happiness is on the way for the Taurus I'm speaking in here. And the world. There's a mindset that is about to shift. Or you need to shift. The world is a major change. The world is a chapter in your life needs to let go. Even you feel you can't, but you do. You can do it. And the world speaks. Once it's gone, another starts. Get ready. Gemini's. Time for you, my loves. Let's see what we have there for you. 
Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and Star. Okay, loves. Why are you still debating what I need? If somebody here left, let them go. Because there's something better. There is healing, there is peace. And there is much more afterwards. And Two of Pentacles. Is this truly or this is not? For some of you, it's a job situation here that you, either way, you are in between. Don't wait anymore for somebody to offer to you. Instead, do you and go after what you really want. Because the star very much speaks if you wish, you can have. If that is in your mind, it's in your heart, you can have it. Don't even doubt. Okay. Also, for some of you, there is a situation they are financially probably that will improve. And the improvement is happening most likely around the full moon in Aquarius, which is next month on 11 12. So don't forget to put your manifestations. All right, loves. Three of Wands. Stay positive. Three more weeks kind of or about so stay positive here gemini because i feel here there's certain things coming to you and comes beautifully cancerians what do we have for you loves let's see page of pentacles seven of wands and the fool here we are, loves, standing up for yourself. There's a new beginning. For some of you, you have a new job. And the new job, it's kind of, instead of taking as it is, stand up for what you need and what you want. Whatever it is. For some of you, yes, you are, t you are dealing here with an earth or with a fire sign, even with a Gemini. But yes, everything is a beginning. Or there's something here, yes, to take a leap. If it's a job situation here, Cancerian, stand up for your rights and don't take it slightly because, oh, you know, I'll just start it and I will have whatever they give it to me. Stand up. If you are feel that you deserve something, ask for it. And yes, seems here that it's a great adventure for some Cancerians to go ahead towards whatever is here. Nine of Wands five of wands yes there is competition so don't go just because of that because many many of you my, many many like you might want that job or that opportunity indeed here for the cancer i'm speaking work-wise speaking you know could be just one place and that it's really yours don't take it lightly go ahead but put your own you know words your own rules or whatever it's there. Stand up for yourself, loves. And the celebratory zodiac, Leo. Happy birthday and let's see your energy. What we have for you. The first card for you, we have Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, and Seven of Wands. All right, Leo. It seems here you are speaking here with someone, but I feel here whoever is this person, they love what they see, they are interested in you, but more likely on a physical level. Whatsoever, you are not really much into a physical level at this point. So I see you very much on, you know, I know what I deserve and what I want. This Ace of Wands doesn't really speak too much. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands makes the Eight of Wands. Communication, communication, communication might lead you to the distance. Death is the clarifier of seven of wands. There is a change. So you be the change. I feel here for some of you, if you have someone new, could be a Scorpio, could be another fire sign. If they come with something very easy, very light, I feel here you are not into that anymore. And that very much speaks about, you know, boundaries. That speaks very strongly about what you really want. And 
your true value. Absolutely. I really want something real. I don't need any more just one night stand or something very much kind of today is and tomorrow is not. And my beloved Virgos, welcome. Let's see what we got for you. All right, Page of Swords, High Priestess, and Knight of Wands. All right, it seems here that there's a Virgo here keeping an eye on someone, or someone is keeping an eye on you, Virgo. Could be Air, could be a Pisces, or a Sag. But it's it seems here that there's something here you want, but it's kind of not yet. Whatever it's that, not the end. The page of swords. I'm looking for a new beginning, but can I stick with it? One, my intuition is telling me. The Knight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Should I take my time or should I go? So there is a Virgo here who could you know, learn discipline or something here, discipline themselves. Indeed here, I feel here you are looking for something, but taking your time. For some of you Virgos, if you really want something new, there is someone here my waiting for you. I don't see you talking with them. I don't see you engaging with them. The High Priestess, Queen of Swords. Who you want, you must speak with them. For some of you, Virgos, there's someone who waits for you. If you are still interested, go ahead. It will be great to communicate with them. Because communication is the key to many other things. Give it a chance. Could be a stable one or not. It's something here that needs to be improved. And that's the balance between these two connections. For those of you who are working on self-discipline or doing things the right way, you still have to put in effort into, okay? Because Six of Pentacles speaks that it still needs work to be done. Libra, time for you loves, welcome. Let's see, what do we have for Libra? Here you are, Major Arcana, right away. Six of cups, eight of cups, and chariot. All right, loves. You could deal with another Libra, a Virgo, or a Cancerian, but I see you on the move. You left the building. There's a Libra here who are leaving a situation. It could be a marriage, could be a commitment, could be a job. It's kind of like, in the beginning, you feel like, oh very very much emotional but later I just feel like well now I can do whatever I want very much free to go and do whatever I want it's like the, that masculine energy but yes for some of you you are really wanted something to go to the distance but may not come for some of you Libras actually there's a situation here that yes I was okay with something but there's something better. And it's kind of, I aspire, for, I aspire for the better. So that's where you're heading, to the better. Go ahead, my loves. Absolutely, look at this. You are going towards your person, the Empress and the Emperor. So congratulations, Libra. For some of you, yes, you are separating from someone, but soon enough you will see how the things are starting and great working out there my Scorpios time for you loves let's see what do we have for you Scorpio strength lovers and four of swords you need to make a decision and I feel here most likely you will make that decision in August or in the Leo season but I feel here you will think through first, think first, and then you'll go forward. I will clarify really quick. Seven of Cups, yes. You're taking your time because you don't really know which is the best way to go. 
So give your time, loves. I feel here with the strength. You are you are in your power and you definitely have options. For some of you Scorpius, you have more than one option. That's why you probably need to take your time. You know, when they are different options, scale up, loves. Eight of Pentacles. What do you want to put in effort? For some of you, especially for the Scorpius who want to go back to school or learning something, you do have great opportunities. Okay? So work towards those who you feel you will be fulfilled more. Listen that inner voice. That one, it's speaking very highly. Sagittarius, welcome. Let's see, my loves, what we have for you. The first card for you, we have Eight of Wands. News on the way. And it might not be the best way, loves. Best news. The Ten of Swords here. Ten of Wands and Six of Wands. Well, I feel here you, you got to work something harder than usually for something. Whatsoever, I feel here, whatever news you come in the beginning, that doesn't look great. Okay? It's kind of an extra effort to be done for something to go to the distance. So whatever it is, they are loves. Yes, certain news might not be great, but might end very well. Justice could be served. It's kind of a give and take will be there. And yes, there will be a lot of great movement. And you know, Sag, you are the lucky one. Indeed, here certain things might not be well, but Six of Wands speaks that with great effort, probably more than you think, you will get to the distance. They are beautiful cards afterwards, and justice is clarified by the, the chariot, which very, very strongly speaks that your hard work will be paid off tremendously go ahead loves go ahead yes you might feel here yes i really want this but what should i think of whatever it is and my capricorns let's love what we have for you the first card we have a seven of swords fool and the hermit All right, I will clarify really quick the Seven of Swords moon. You know, you might deal here with someone, you know, water, fire, air, or earth. But it's kind of whatever you, you know or whatever you feel, that's the truth. If you think that someone here cheated on you or done something here in the hideout or hide things, Things from you believe it or not they do yes you might try to not really pay attention but in the fact you do it's kind of you might say well it's not a big deal it's kind of like well let go let them go let them do whatever it is but in the fact you are very much into a deeper meaning here certain things here I feel here you don't want to allow but you might need to and that probably is communication for some of you, just communicating with someone or whatever it's coming to you, whatever news or whatever things are there. You might feel here that, well, I don't know, should I or should I not? Well, definitely try out. Aquarius, let's love what we have here for you and how the things are going. The first card, Knight of Pentacles, Justice, and Queen of Swords. Certain things here for you, of course, go a little slower than you would like to. For some of you, you might separate from um, an Earth sign or a Libra. Or for some of you, there is some legal matters out there that go slower than you anticipate prior. Give yourself time, loves, as well. Speak with an advisor. I feel here for some of you really need someone, some kind of guidance out there. And you might not see how, but be open to communicate. Be open to 
to say the things as they are and go forward with them. Pisces, time for you loves. Let's see. Ooh. First card for my Pisces, we have Eight of Cups, Death, and Ace of Cups. Look at you. Big change for good ones. You leave something, you change something, and something comes new. You know, after the death comes something. Whatever you are leaving behind, loves, has a purpose. Why? Will change you, will challenge you, and will offer you something new. So for many Pisceans, get ready for big changes that will bring you new great energies out there and my look very very beautiful so yeah Pisceans Pisceans let's see the collective what do we have for you and you know the collective many many times speaks with someone in particular with someone who are going through a certain situation and I found out the answers right here. All right, collective. Let's see. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Sun, Nine of Cups, Chariot, and page of pentacles look at here loves two queens a knight and a page it seems here someone is in a, a situation here that really can change certain things sun and the chariot as major arcanas a new beginning to move forward with a rebirth so yeah the Five of Wands clarifier, we have the Empress. Somebody here might be committed with someone or might deal with someone and there is someone else in the mix. Okay, Page of King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Somebody here doesn't act how they need to, tries to get away with certain things. Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Swords, Four of Wands. So, speaks here with someone who does have a third party, probably. Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. It's kind of somebody wants to communicate, someone wants to say certain things, the other one just refuses. It's, it's more likely, it's like, I don't know what answer to give it to you. I don't know what answers to give to you so this is a family problem most likely the three of cups and the queen of cups queen of pentacles so yeah here you are loves the fact somebody here you know somebody here might might cheat but other energy here what comes in is the communication could be also a third party is less and less somebody here doesn't really open up anymore or is like i'm not gonna open anymore king of pentacles seven of swords nine of wands page of pentacles two of swords king of wands it's kind of like somebody here is like, I decided this. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. It's like somebody here is asking themselves why they don't want to talk, why they don't want to communicate, why they don't want to cooperate. For whatever reason here, because somebody here indeed has a strong reason whatever that reason is so yeah loves let's see here a 
an advice for this energy situation. Six of Cups. Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups. Four of Swords. And Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. Okay, somebody here is is keeping an eye on someone but someone it's kind of like in love probably with someone else or really want someone else in their life whomever is that person so the energy here very much speaks that i am in between i know i don't do something right but what's right so loves now if you are the one who are in love with someone else your partner or the other person is keeping an eye on you so be careful or if you are looking for someone else someone will find and that being said blessings to all of you thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow namaste